starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. I sure hope we have goose instead of turkey next Thanksgiving. Well, Lassie tried to warn you, didn't she? She always has a good reason for barking. <laughs> Doug Walker just got his first shipment of mink. Yes, so I heard. You know, don't you, that a couple of mink could wipe out every chicken in the district? Now, Jed, you know that Doug guaranteed us that none of the mink would get away. I don't care how good his intentions are. He can't keep an eye on hundreds of chicken varmints 24 hours a day, right? Yeah, that's true. Mayn't mean much to you with your handful of hands, but I own the biggest chicken farm in the county. It means a lot to me. Now, Jed, let's not get hot under the collar unless there's a reason for it. None of the mink have gotten away yet, and they probably never will. Well, I'd have to be convinced. I suppose we go over and let Doug convince you. I'll just let Ruth know we're going. Ruth! Me, Lassie, and I go? We finished our chores. Yes? Ruth, Jed, and I are going over and take a look at Doug's mink. May we? I've never seen a mink before. Okay with you? Okay with me. Thank you. Come on, Lassie. We won't be long. All right. Step right up, gentlemen. Just the time to pick out your wise mink coat. They smell like skunks. Now, they both belong to the weasel family. Enough to smell up the whole county. <laughs> well, they're not usually this bad. They're excited because Lassie's around. They don't like dogs. Looking at Lassie, I'd have to say the feeling is mutual. Well, they don't seem to bother Timmy. Come here, Dad, and look at them. They're real pretty. If only they don't smell nice. What's the matter? One of the varmints tried to bite through the wire already? Now, their teeth would break before they could do that. I'm putting in extra staples so there won't be any space for a mink to work its paw between the wire and the framework. If you're still worrying about your chickens, forget it. I've got chickens of my own. Well, I am worried. I don't see how they could get out of here. Well, they better not. What do you feed them, Mr. Walker? Well, lean meat, cereal, vegetables, and chickens. Don't be forgetting that. Well, you've convinced me that they can't get out, Doug. I think that Jed agrees with me. Let's go home, son. Bye, Mr. Walker. Bye. Good luck with your mink, Doug. Thanks. Paul, the chicken. What happened? Something got into the hen house and killed 18 of them. 18? I don't know what it was. It smells awful back there. It must have been a skunk. I know it. One of those minks got out. Was anything else hurt? Oh, I, I checked the barn, and everything in there seems all right. You did all right. It smells just like Mr. Walker's mink. That's right, son. I told you those minks were chicken killers. Maybe you're right. Ruth, didn't you see anything at all? No. 
I was upstairs making the bed, and I heard a lot of squawking, but by the time I got down here, whatever it was had gone. I know one way to make sure those minks won't kill any more chickens. Please, please, no guns. Man, listen to reason if you got a gun to back you up. Now, Jed, all we've got to do is show Doug that one of his mink did escape. And we give him a chance to return him and get his money back. Timmy, you better stay home. Well, they're all here. Killer must have got back in the way it got out. Yeah, there would have been blood all over the mink that killed those chickens. Sounds reasonable. There's no breaks anywhere. Satisfied now? There's got to be a loose fasting somewhere. But the mink are all here. Count them yourself. I'm satisfied they couldn't have gotten out, Doug. And I say they did. But there's no evidence. The smell in Paul's yard is evidence enough for me. Now, you get those mink out of this district by tomorrow noon, or I'll personally fill them full of lead. Oh, easy, Jed. It might be my chickens next. You've had your warning. I'll be back tomorrow noon with every farmer in the district. Of the killer. Maybe Lassie scared him away. Oh, Paul, did we lose more chickens? Mm -hmm. Two. That awful mink smell again. What are we going to do? Lassie has the killer scent. Now all we have to do is follow her. Oh, no. Not you at this hour of the night. You're going back to bed. I'll follow Lassie. What, in the middle of the night? Well, that scent may not last till morning. Come on, girl. Well, your dad will tell us all about it in the morning. you were heading for the mink pens. All right, let's see where they're getting out. Wait, Lassie. The mink are back here. Who's that? Oh, it's me, Doug. Paul? Yeah. I lost some more chickens, and Lassie's been tracking down the killer. I heard barking. I thought there was a dog around the pens. No, well, Lassie headed right this way. You think it was one of my mink, don't you? What else could it be? Come on, let's check the pens. My side are here, clean as a whistle. Yeah, they're all here. And as you said, no blood either. Uh, sounds like Lassie's onto something. Well, let's go take a look.
That must have gone in the water. Do minks swim? Yes, they do. Well, then the blood could have been washed off the killer before he got back in his pen. Except for one thing. My mink can't get out. Something got out, Doug. Look at this. Darndest footprint I ever saw. Looks like a skeleton made it. Yeah, I never saw anything like it before. Oh, whatever it was, it probably came down to get a drink. You know, there's still a trace of that mink smell around here. Why do you keep harping on mink? It could have been a skunk or a weasel. They all smell the same. No, if I were you, Doug, I'd ship the mink back in the morning. Planning to join Jed with a gun? You know me better than that, Doug. Nobody's been able to discover how those mink are getting out. Well, maybe one of them is small enough to crawl through the wire. I don't know. Maybe it was a wild mink. Wild mink get hungry because they don't have anybody to feed them. If it was a wild mink, I bet Lassie and I could catch him. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Listen, before I see Jed, I'm going to find out from Judge Baxter about Jed's liability if he destroys those mink. Losing money is the only thing that'll make Jed listen to reason. I bet if we went down to the lake and saw those tracks, you could find out where it came from, couldn't you, girl? Did you see the judge? Uh-huh. He said that Jed has a right to protect his poultry against predatory animals, whether anybody owns them or not. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to try to talk Jed out of going on a shooting spree. Paul. Well. Okay. Are you ready? What for? You know what for? We're going to clean out those chicken killing varmints. Jed. I want to talk to you. Too late for talking. The time we get to Doug's will be noon. Well, you're coming along, or do I round up the other farmers myself? Oh, I'm coming. But I think we ought to visit Doug before you do any rounding up. You might just as well stay here if you think you can talk me out of killing those minks. I suppose Doug has already arranged to ship the minks back. Won't you look foolish to the other men? Yeah, I got a point there. Shoot up your minks right now. Minks are still here. What are you going to do about it? Uh, take it easy, Jed. Take it easy. 
I was just trying to get Paul on the phone. Are you going to send them back, Doug? I want to show you something. I got curious about that footprint last night. Well, what footprint? I'll tell you in a minute, Jed. What about that footprint? I went to the library this morning. Look. Well, what's that picture book got to do with your mink? It's the same footprint we saw last night. Well, what is it? A wolverine. A wolverine around here? I didn't tell you, Jed, but last night I lost some more chickens. Lassie trailed the killer down to the lake, and we saw a footprint exactly like this. That was a smell that made me wonder if that print might belong to a large member of the weasel family. Uh, mink and wolverine smell alike, you know. Well, looks like we found our killer. Well, I won't say yes or no till I see for myself. <laughs> well, if you want to tangle with a wolverine, that's your business. Well, I wouldn't go near one of those devils with an elephant gun. I just want to see the footprint. Oh, well, come on along. It's down by the lake. print all right they're mighty mean customers and not even a grizzly will stand up to them whose tracks are these lassie's she was down here with me last night but timmy wasn't here this is a full print of timmy's shoe a fresh one too you know he was saying at breakfast that he thought the killer was a wild mink he said he bet he could catch it well, with a wolverine on the loose, this is no place for a man or boy to be alone. Come on. Lassie stopped here and sniffed around. Here's where Lassie picked up the Wolverine's trail. You all right, son? I think so. Did you see what Lassie did? Yeah, I certainly did. She did it to save your life. <laughs> You're a mighty brave dog, Lassie. Boy, isn't it big? 
Now, there's your killer, Jed. A lot bigger than my mink. Well, you know how it is when a man's got all his money tied up in poultry. Well, I, uh, I must confess I had some bad moments. Sometimes you can't tell whether the evidence is real or circumstantial. Forget it. It's over now. What I don't understand is why nobody told me. Told you what, son? That mink can get so big. <laughs> well, Lassie could have told you that that's not a mink. That's a wolverine. She tried to tell me, didn't you, girl? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.